Hi everyone, I just thought I would do a quick video to I was talking to a friend about it about creating custom plants in SketchUp. So I have just put plant into Google, obviously I want to be a bit more specific than that. I would say the first tip is to pick a plant or an example of the plant that you want to use with as plain a background as possible. Um, I am actually going to show you this one I think just because it's kind of it's semi simple. So the main thing here is the background is a contrasting colour to the plant. You definitely do not want a plant on a green background that will make your life very difficult. So I've uh, I can go to the big version of that. Just click through. So I'm going to right click on this and go copy image. I will move to Photoshop. If you don't know what I'm doing here, it's command and tab or alt and tab and you will be able to flip through a list of the open programs. Anyone that's worked in an office probably knows that. Now that'll do, it's not particularly high resolution, but that doesn't matter. So the first thing, I might just crop this. I'm just going to draw a box over it and go crop. This is another good tip. On Max, if you go to the Help menu, there's a little search box at the top. This is for all programs. You just type in what you want. It saves you going through all of the menus. Now, I already have a background layer here. So what I am going to do with this, and this will become clear why in a second, is give it another contrasting colour. So I think I'll just go with blue make that blue, put this on. Now in order to get rid of the background there are obviously different ways. You could just use the eraser tool, uh, let's put that on a harder brush and manually erase it so you see I'm coming through to my blue background. Um, you know in most, in some cases you'll have to do that really, in some cases you'll have to because of the way, especially if you're using it with a complicated image, you're going to have to zoom in quite a lot and really go close, oops that was me pressing the wrong button on the stylus, and delete it like that. Another way is to go to um, select colour range. So I clicked on one colour, so the orange, and you can see in this little preview thing that is showing up as white, so that means that colour's selected. If I hold down shift I can then just go and I'm like clicking through the whole range of different colours on this wood texture in the background. And so my aim is to get this whole section around the plant to be um, white. So you can see, you can kind of see the bits there. There's another, maybe there, I'll try and get rid of that bit there. Right, well that'll do it. And I'm going to go OK. So that's automatically selected everything in that colour range. And I'm going to just press delete and that is gone. Now you see I am left with a little bit of kind of bits and pieces I guess that I didn't get rid of. So if you want to go right you can zoom right in and do the same thing get that colour range. So I've got this one and these all of these slightly orangey bits. So you can repeat this process a couple of times and just kind of you know, don't kill yourself because by the time you've got it into SketchUp, unless it's not, you know, white jaggedy or blue jaggedy in this case, you know, you probably won't notice it. I would then just, you don't have to be this zoomed in to do it, but just kind of get rid of the worst of the bits that are like lingering around like that because they will show up. There. Right, I'm going to make my brush a bit bigger now. This process is obviously easier if I just go back uh, to my search here. So, well, these are cropped, but something like that would be super easy. But again, what you may end up with is like a white, jagged, shadowy bit around the edge of the plant. So that process that I've just described should kind of eliminate that. Um, so I am now just going to get rid of this bottom bit here. Again, I'm going to zoom in, make my brush a bit smaller. In fact, I'll just make it a teeny brush. Uh, maybe two pixels and just zoom right in there. Let's get rid of these bits. So I'm using a graphics tablet. This is this process or any drawing process in Photoshop is much much easier to use a graphics tablet. The one I have got is Wack. No, it's not Wack on. Wack on are the good ones. Mine is a cheap one. Uh, H six ten. So it's that it's seventy quid. Uh, they have other models as well um, and you get the pen and so on this is actually a newer model than mine one is um, so yeah that is one option if you are doing a lot of drawing 
margin a bit bigger, get rid of those bits. I mean, again, it's not the end of the world. Clean up the bottom bit. So you can see, you can be quite loose, especially if you're putting kind of watercolory filters on. Now, I'm going to turn this background off and I'm just going to crop it in a little bit tighter. Right, crop. So the first thing you want to do is save your image as a transparent PNG. So the quickest way to do this, export, quick export as PNG. That should, uh, yes please, I'm going to put that in my downloads folder for now, quick part. So if I now go to my downloads folder, excuse the mess in my computer, you can see with this grey background here, that's, that's a transparent PNG. So you then want to go into Photoshop, go File, Import, and select a PNG file is there. So we are going to use that as an image. I'm going to go to my Downloads folder, List View, there's my plant at the top, and Import. So I'll just bring it in like that for now. And I'm going to rotate it yeah, 90 degrees. So what I want to do is make this plant into a component. So if I I think I will first need to explode it and then I'm going to make it a component. So I want to tick always face the camera. I don't want the shadows to face the sun, but the always face the camera are those 2D face me plants that you'll download from the warehouse. Then click set to the component axis. You will then have three clicks to place it in the middle of the plant. I will show you in a second what happens if you don't. So I'm going to put it there. So click one. I need to move then the red and green, so click two there, and I now can place ooh, the last one like that, and then go create. So now, oh, I've done something weird with that axis. Undo that. Uh, make component, yes, set component axis. So this is what I normally do, and that just keeps it straight. Always face camera, yep, create, brilliant. So that now is going to face the camera. If I put the shadows on, you'll see that this is a square box, which you will also notice with some plants from the warehouse. I'm going to double click into this and get my line tool again. This is where the pen, the pen, uh, the, no, oh no, I want that one. I want this freehand tool, uh, which is there. So again, this is where the tablet, graphics tablet comes in useful. Now I'm just going to roughly crop around this. Um, if you've got more time, you can make it much neater. But this is not going to affect your plant. It's just going to affect the shadows. Unless you have the lines on, then you probably want to do it a lot neater. And what I'm doing now, I just zoom. Basically, I just zoom in and uh, get it right close to the plant. The only thing you need to be careful of, obviously, is you can kind of dip in like that, and you'll end up losing that bit of the plant. So you'll do that all the way around. Make sure it meets at the top. Delete the existing lines around it. And that line there. And then you will notice that you've got a kind of a, sh a shadow which is roughly the sh same shape as that plant. So yeah, that process can be kind of laborious, but if there's plants that you particularly want, you know, the main issues you're going to have, firstly, is finding the right plant because it needs to be like a head-on view, straight-on view of the plant, the whole plant, nothing else in the way, no other plants. Then the issue is removing the background, which can be a bit fiddly. You know, then you're going to have to bring it in and draw around it. So I would say save it for, you know, those times where you really, really want it because it can be a bit annoying. But yeah, that's the way to do it. Any questions, drop me an email or just leave a comment below. Bye.